I reckon that when I talked about General Nakasone's father a while ago, he got real mad at me. Um, basically what I said is that if, if, I, if you're a real good Japanese person, you would never be a traitor to the Japanese people because the Japanese culture is so much about loyalty. You have to think about uh, like the importance of family in the Japanese culture if you're trying to understand why a traitor to a country would be such a big deal. And when I talked about General Nakasone uh, being put in charge of the NSA and me being concerned about it, uh, I don't know if people heard about that. My, my guess is that uh, that might have been censored. I don't know, but it sure it probably wouldn't have been General Nakasone that censored it. Uh, who would have censored that sort of thing? Because they put a guy in charge that's a descendant from the Japanese royal family, didn't think about the nature of like what it means to be a traitor to your country. You understand what I'm like. It's, it's hard to explain how the American government is made up of people that want the descendants of traitors to be in charge because they don't actually realize that they're traitors because they're so caught up in the propaganda. They're not, actually, not, they're not actually thinking about the psychology of that person. Kind of like they're not actually thinking about the psychology of Brett Kavanaugh. They don't think about how disgusting that man really is. You, like, you, you have to understand, we search for judges that are going to be fascists. We make sure they stock up on busts and fill those prisons with people. And then we go, he's perfect for the Supreme Court, right? He will say that we don't have to follow the Constitution because, okay, if you're a Supreme Court justice and you're literally just throwing out the Constitution, he doesn't need to know the charges against him. Yes, yes, well, we've actually been charging him for a very long time. He's had a court case. He's actually, he has a jury. He doesn't know his jury. We, we make sure of that because we don't want him to actually talk about, okay, United States government knows they're breaking the Constitution and they're saying it's national security, but actually it's, I did a hunger strike. All these people did all this bad stuff. So all I'm saying is when they're trying to get me put to death, that's an assassination. And that's why I'm having them put to death, all of them. And I know Dana's probably real concerned. She's going, all right, you're, you're gonna go pick Supreme Court justices? Okay, how many lawyers do I know? How many lawyers do I know that I would pick? Maybe one, a Baylor lawyer. He, he used to drive a Corvette, which is crazy. I would say a Baylor lawyer that drove a Corvette. He was the president of Baylor and the man stood up for what was right and it might have been a real easy thing for him, but he, he paid attention, he listened, and he, and he knew it was wrong. But then I'm also concerned about his view on abortion, so I'm not sure about that. I believe, I believe that's um, Professor Underwood. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, he taught at Baylor Law School, but I don't even know, know what his name is, honestly. That's what, I don't know anything's name. I know what everything is. I know what'll happen. I don't know the freaking name. I always forget, unless your, your name is Mwawia, and then, I always remember all you. All right. Is the government trying to assassinate me? And if so, um, does it matter if you were the president once? You were elected. You're, you're a lawyer. I ain't no lawyer. I know the Constitution pretty well. I don't know well enough apparently to know that uh, I was reading the uh, not Constitution apparently. Wow, that was a brain fart. But uh, that's why I need Ken Jennings. Anyways. Y'all are fucked.